All right, so the kids got these two headlamps from the Easter Bunny, and they're uh, a Princeton Tech headlamp. They're both 45 lumens, and the model is called the Fred. I'm just looking at the package here. And on the front of it, um, these are made in USA with domestic and foreign components, so it's nice that they're made in USA because most of the uh, headlamps are not. Um, like I said, it's 45 lumens. It says distance is 35 meters. There's four modes, um, water resistant IPX4, I'm not sure what that means, and then it also says that there's a hybrid beam, I'm not sure what that means either. Um, it has a red ultra bright 1 LED and ultra bright 3 LED, and we'll kind of uh, cycle through those. It uses three AAA batteries, which uh, this package it came with three. Duracell AAAs. Um, the weight is 78 grams or 2.75 ounces. Um, says it's water resistant on the back here again. Uh, four mode switch, single arm bracket. Um, let's see here. So a couple, there's four different modes. On high, the total burn time is 74 hours. Low is 120 hours. That's on the white beams. Red uh, on high is 100 hours, and red low is 180. And then it has like the distance in meters on high it goes 35 meters and then on low on red is six meters so we'll take a closer look here okay so on the top here is the switch so when you press the switch it comes up with the uh, the low red first if you press it again it goes off and if you press it within one and a half seconds of turning it on it's going to change the uh, intensity so you get low then that's that would be the high red and then if you hold it it's gonna to go to the white side and again within one and a half seconds you'd have to press it to get it up to the high so we'll hold it here and that's the high beam white and if I click it again it should go off so it kind of depends on how you want to set it to get the battery out there's this uh, area here and we didn't really know how to open it because the, the three batteries go in here and if you read the instructions, the right oop, on the adjustable headband part, it says to use tool, which really didn't know what that meant. But this here, you actually can go in here with this, and that pops that right open. So if we do that, oops, oops, there we go, pops it open. So, and like I said, it's uh, water resistant. I don't see like an O-ring on where the batteries go here, so I'm assuming it's not waterproof. And that just kind of snaps in. It does say if you get water uh, inside the unit into the circuit board, you just to dry it out as long as it's just uh, fresh water. If it's salt water, then you're supposed to rinse it with uh, regular water and let it dry, and then it will function as normal. So that's kind of interesting. It says that right in the instructions. So, but it seems like a pretty good, high quality uh, headlamp here, and I like the fact that the Easter Bunny made sure they were made in USA. And then to get off the headband, basically you just run it through this loop here, is all you do, and pull it back out. So, I mean, it's a pretty, everything about it is pretty simple, which is nice. Um, hopefully we can get some camping in here this summer, if, if uh, everything goes goes as planned here but that's the one in like a looks like a camel design this one here is just kind of an olive green and it's got the Princeton Tech logo on it or it's like I said that these two are basically exactly the same so that's kind of neat alright and then in the way of uh, adjusting or adjustment it's actually quite a bit and it just kinda clicks into each position here so it looks like that's maxed out so if you had it on your your head it'd be a kind of an upward angle and then if you want it down that's actually pretty far too usually if you're looking straight ahead you're going to want it somewhat straight let's so that's nice as well and if you caught the other video that i had i did a this uh, little headband uh rail vac did a cameo in one of my other flashlight videos uh, this one is 35 lumens, so these are 45. This is uh, completely made in China. Um, it also uses three 
AAA batteries and it looks like it only has one LED so if we did a comparison here let's see if I can get this so and this one automatically comes on high right away I don't know if you can tell but this one here is a more of a whiter light where this one's more it's more yellow there you can kind of see how this yeah that one's more yellow this one's more white so I don't know which one's more brighter I th I believe and I haven't tested these or anything like that this one's probably more of like a flood I don't think it has a a distance like this one's going to this one seems more like it's a focus beam and if you look in the uh, LEDs it's like there's a like a magnifier or something in there whereas this one you can see the the LED there is no magnification to it so this definitely looks like it's magnified here's the chart with uh, that came in the in instructions here it just shows you the different distances and the amount of time that it should last so I'm not really sure how much these cost I'd imagine though they're not the cheapest headlamp you can find because they are made in the US um, I did do some searching for headlamps a while back and I know I think this was the only company I could find that made a headlamp that was made in the USA so I don't know if you're looking for something like that uh, might be the way to go it's like I said not gonna be the cheapest but it's definitely not made in China which is nice all right so this rail vac here uh, it says for the beam distance is 24 meters and like I said the the Princeton tech here these are good up to 45 and um, I didn't actually weigh these out but this one definitely seems heavier than these um, oh and this one is also the IPX4 water resistance so whatever that's some sort of uh, standard or something they must go by so but like I said I believe this one to be uh, quite quite a bit less expensive than what the the Princeton Tech ones were so just doing a quick search here I found this one seven dollars and eighty three cents on sale right now so yeah quite a bit I would assume less than the two on the right here so anyway uh, if you're looking for a a good USA made headlamp I'm gonna say uh, Princeton Tech is gonna be the way to go